So we got four wands. And then the moon card is here. This four of wands and the moon card talks about, you know, stuff that was hidden. So this person is, you know, people possibly didn't even know that because they were so detached from, you know, and being lost for so long. They didn't know about people that shared the same soul. They didn't know that, um, as you possibly, you know, you didn't know, you heard of the term, this person is my soulmate, or this person is somebody that, you know, I want to share my life with and things like that. But you never thought that you were someone that was like Adam and Eve, you know, somebody that has, you came from a person's rib or they came from your rib. Y'all share the same soul. And um, that was hidden. This person possibly found out and they didn't even want people to know that you and them shared the same soul. They wanted to keep that hidden. They don't want people to know. Yeah, I'm hearing sabotage. They just, they just felt like people would sabotage it. Yeah, King of Cups is here. Yeah, this person is somebody that's, you know, very intuitive. You know, they found out. And they realized that's why they were in love with you or have love for you. They care about you. And, um... Yeah, this person cares about you. They're in love with you. And it's like they want you to forgive them for something that they did. As y'all share the same soul. They could want to come in union with them. Yeah, eight of, eight of Cups is here. You could have felt like this person walked away from you. And, um, or you walked away from this person. You were no longer in a confused mindset, but this person possibly was. It was a lot of stuff that was hidden to them, and they didn't know why they were in love with you. And um, that's, that's probably why they walked away from you, Eight of Cups is here, because they were in love with you. And they wanted to keep that hidden. Yeah, they wanted to keep it hidden. And it's like you weren't in a confused mindset. You knew this person was in love with you. And this person knew that you had love for them too. They could have felt like people around them wouldn't understand. As they didn't know that these were the people that were, you know, placed around them so they could, you know, walk away from. They were just to teach them lessons so they could walk away, you know, from toxic patterns, toxic situations. To fulfill their destiny and their purpose here on earth. Yeah, Queen of Swords is here. It's like, if the, as this person walked away from you because they were in fear. The moon card is here. They were in fear of you finding out that they were in love with you. You were in this Queen of Swords energy. Somebody that hadn't already been through a lot and you were speaking the truth. Cutting out things that no longer serve purpose. And you could have spoke the truth to this person. And that had them in fear. Yeah, seven of cups and then five of wands is here. They were confused. They thought they would get you. If you had them walked away, they thought they would confuse you. Seven of cups and then five of wands. To get you back, you know, get you back in this seven of cups energy. <laughs> Yeah, this person is in a confused mindset. They're in this physical round. They didn't know that um, they were just keeping their self at the Seven of Cups and keeping their self at the Five of Wands, not you. You were in this Queen of Swords energy. Cutting out things that no longer serve purpose in your life. You were speaking the truth. You hadn't been through a lot and you knew a lot of knowledge. You're somebody that spiritually woke. And this King of Cups didn't know. There was someone that was very intuitive. They knew that you had love for them and you knew that they had love for you. But this person was confused in some type of way. It could have been like multiple people, seven of cups. Multiple, multiple people that they thought were options to them. And these were people that were only bringing conflict to them. Fights, drama, chaos, arguments, and confusion. 
and that's it. <laughs> yeah, Ten of Swords is here. Th th these are people that betrayed them and backstabbed them. Pent them down at the Ten of Swords for harsh, painful endings over and over and over again. These are people that did stuff to betray this person. So, as with the Seven of Cups, they did something to confuse this person. They had, they, they, they basically, this person thought that they would, you know, as you had them walked away from this person or they walked away from you because they were in fear of, you know, you finding out that they were in love with you, King of Cups, or you cared, they cared about you as y'all share the same soul. But you knew you're someone that, you know, has a lot of knowledge. Queen of Swords is here. And uh, you weren't, you know, you knew this person was at the Eight of Cups walking away or you were walking away from this person. Take it where it resonates. And um, as they walked away, you knew that they would go through some type of betrayal and you couldn't help this person. That's why, you know, it's, it's like you, you could have tried to speak the truth to this person, but you realized you couldn't help this person. You had to walk away. You knew that they would be betrayed. You knew that they would be going through all this conflict, fights, arguments, and confusion. But you couldn't do anything. Yeah, you were somebody that was woke and this person wasn't. You just had the, yeah, three of pentacles. Is here. These are people that they thought that they were building with, three of pentacles. As you were trying to build with this person, or you were trying to work with this person. But they ended up getting betrayed by people that they thought that they were working with or building with, or people that... You know, wanted them to think that they needed to build with them or work with them to keep them confused. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here because they knew this person wanted to connect with you. They knew this person wanted to come towards you and express the way they felt. Knight of Cups. Yeah, these... These are people that were jealous, envious, wanted to defeat this person secretly. They were hating on this person and the love that they had for you. So they started building on this person, Three of Pentacles, watching this person behind the scenes, had different people working with them to betray this person. And you knew, but it's nothing that you could do. Because it's like you spoke the truth and it kind of you just kind of walked away from this person. It was a lot of stuff that was hidden that this person didn't know. And they needed to go through, com you know, go through this conflict or whatever betrayal that they went through so they could get woke. They could start using their intuition. Because it's like they got in this King of Cups energy, but they got scared. And they walked away or you walked away from them because they got scared. Yeah, justice is here. You brought in justice for this situation by detaching from this person and, um... It kind of took them through, you know, looking in the mirror, looking at their self to see what they needed to heal, what they needed to change, what type of confusion were they in. So they could walk away at the Eight of Cups from different stuff that they were around. Toxicity, confused mindsets, conflict, drama, chaos, fights and arguments, people trying to secretly one-up them, people hating on them, jealous of them. Envious to them for no reason. Your Ace of Cups is here. All because this person was in love with you or have love for you. This needed to happen so they could start loving their self. Taking care of their self. Finally showing their self some love. Ace of Cups. Yeah. They knew this person was in love with you. Ace of Cups and then the Empress is here. They knew this person had love for you. They knew this person was in love with you. And they wanted to defeat you and this person. Sabotage you and this person. Five of Swords is here. As you see, it's one person with, you know, with this sword and it's two people walking away. They thought that they were going to sabotage you and this person. And it's like they were sitting back, you know collecting swords to try to sabotage you and this person and y'all didn't even have a sword y'all didn't even have to fight these people y'all weren't you know trying to defeat anybody or fight anybody 
it was different people that were jealous, trying to defeat y'all, trying to, you know, secretly one up y'all. Yeah, Six of Wands is here. You're someone that's very successful. You're someone that's being held in high honor. You get a lot of respect. You're having victory. You're someone that's being seen in certain lives that's not, you know, that are your own. Why these people wanted to be seen in certain lives that's not their own. Five of Wands, Five of Wands energy trying to get to the Six of Wands energy. And as this, this person holds you in high honor, Six of Wands and then the Empress popped out. They're in love with you. They look at you as someone who can embody every queen in the deck. It's like they look, they seen you in this queen of swords energy, but they didn't know that you were an empress as well. You can embody every queen in the deck in the upright position. It just all depends on the energy. You're someone that can balance your energy out. Equal give and take. So you know what energy to be in. Yes, seven of wands is here. You're someone that's divinely protected. You know when somebody is trying to create blockages for you. Because you're divinely protected. You know you have a strong intuition. Very intuitive. This empress is someone that's very intuitive. As they can embody every queen in the deck. All the queens in the deck are very intuitive. <laughs> they have strong intuitions. They all read tarot as well. But yeah. This person holds you in high honor and they're like blocking... They don't want people to come around you. They don't want... So this is what's going on in the spiritual realm. It's like your divine counterpart is, got, is blocking off, you know, people from coming towards you. They're like overprotective and stingy of your energy in the spiritual realm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, four of swords. <laughs> yeah. They got it where people can't even come around you a lot. You might be, you know, or just away from everybody. Four of swords is here in isolation. You don't be around people. It is because this person is overprotective of you in the spiritual realm. They don't want you to be around people. Because y'all share the same soul and they know how energy works. As you may not know, you know too much about different people that try to come and attach yourself to you. And that's why, you know, this divine counterpart, there's someone, <laughs> there's someone that, you know, they don't want anyone around you. If it's not them, they don't want anybody. It's like they're divinely protecting you. They know who are trying to create blockages for you and they just don't want people attached to their energy. They don't want people attached to your energy as y'all share the same soul. They keep you away from everybody. Four of swords is here. Yeah, these are people that are trying to that try to have you stuck at the eight of swords. Also wanted your person to be stuck. Eight of swords, bonded, blinded, and tied up. Yeah. Yeah, it's like these are people that wanted to have you stuck. And they wanted this person to be stuck juggling at the two of pentacles. This person could have knew that um, because this is your person's higher self that is divinely protecting you in the spiritual realm. And they know what your person in this physical realm, you know, has going on. And they've been keeping you isolated from that person, especially if they were in, you know, around energy that were trying to keep them stuck. 
bonded and blinded and tied up. Keeping them at the two of pentacles, juggling between thoughts and finance, trying to figure this out. They were keeping you away from that person as well. Until they clean, they cleanse their energy and get out of whatever confusion that they were in. They wasn't letting this person come towards you. Yeah, three of wands in the reverse. They weren't letting this person come towards you. Yeah, something is undecided. So it's like you could have, with the Seven of Cups, you could have a different option. And whoever this person is that's in a physical realm, that's your, you know, divine counterpart. They could be sitting back, you know. They're in fear because they're in love with you. And they could feel stuck in their head with this. You know, they don't they don't want people to know. They don't even want people to know that, you know, what decisions that they made or whatever decisions that they plan to make or what, you know, decisions that they have made. They don't want people to know because they feel like these people are trying to keep them stuck. Eight of Swords is here. They want to keep these people confused because these people, these are the same energies that try to confuse them and keep them stuck. They don't even want them to know what decisions that they had to make. Yeah, the star card is here. This person is, you know, healing in the process of healing. They've gotten spiritually woke. So they're woke, you know. And um, they look at you as somebody that's like a star, you know, someone that's healing. You have a lot of healing energy. And that could be fearing them to come towards you. This person is, you know, feeling stuck in their head. At the Eight of Swords in a, you know, self-made prison. And they're juggling between, you know, thoughts. Juggling between. It's keeping them, like, at a rocky. Going back and forth in their head. And keeping them stuck. Eight of Swords and Two of Pentacles. They're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And they could be around people that, you know, that is in that energy. And they need to heal. You know, before they come towards your energy with this star card. You know, this person wants to meet up, come in union with you, but they don't want people to know. Yeah, this is somebody that's in love with you. Uh, they, they, you know, they could have walked away from different people or they're in the process of walking away from different people. Eight of Cups is here. Or they just walked away from a confused mindset and they could be still around certain people. Um, they don't get that they need to, you know, isolate and, you know, detach all energy. And um, that's what's keeping them at this eight of swords stuff. In their head and going back and forth to a pinnacles. Yeah, because they see you at the nine of cups wish fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm tasting that. This person could drink. Yeah. Now, this is a masculine energy because I smell cologne as well. This person could be drinking um, some, you know, taste alcohol and smell cologne. This person is somebody that could drink and um, that's what's keeping them in their head. Going back and forth. Yeah. King of Wands is here. This person wants to come towards you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm smelling cologne. This <laughs> is is some, yeah. This King of Wands is someone that wants to come towards you. And um, they know what they want out of life. It's like they have a lot of passion for you. They want to come towards you. And um, they have been stuck in their head for a long time and they have them going back and forth. And that's why, you know, their higher self is divinely protecting you. This person is around a lot of people that don't want them to be able to make proper decisions. That's why the Three of Wands is in the reverse. And they don't want people to know that they, you know, whatever decisions that they make, 
It's like they're in this King of Wands energy. They hadn't walked away from a confused mindset a long time ago. They People just don't know. This person could just be, you know, keeping everything in their head with this Eight of Swords. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. Yeah. Yeah, they're keeping everything in their head. Knight of Wands and then Four of Pentacles. It's like this person, this person planned to, they want to come in quick and have sex with you. And um, because they're, they're at the Four of Pentacles with your energy. And it's like, they've been like that in the spiritual realm and it's just manifesting in the physical realm. So they've been watching you in this King of Wands position. They figure if they can come in and have sex with you, they're going to make you theirs. Four of Pentacles and Knight of Wands is here. <laughs> they're at the Four of Pentacles with your energy. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. <laughs> Yeah, this person is like, this is your spiritual, like, spouse. The air font is here. You and this person is, like, married in the spiritual realm. <laughs> and this person think you belong to them. Yeah. This person... <laughs> yeah, physically, mentally, and spiritually. <laughs> yeah, the strip card is here. Wow. Yeah, this is somebody that you're ordained. God ordained you to be with this person. And this person, you know, in the physical realm, they possibly didn't know about twins and stuff like that. Stuff was a secret to them. But once they found out, it's like this person, you know, they're, they're at the four of pentacles stingy with your energy. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. <laughs> yeah, they see you as someone that's very strong. With this strength card. They look at you as growth. You went through a lot. And you came out on top. Yeah. They feel like you're the only person that. You know they can relate to. Possibly with this strength card. They feel like you're the only person. That will understand them. Because you haven't been through a lot. And you came out on top. Yeah, this person is literally at the Four of Pentacles with your energy. As y'all share the same soul, they're holding on to you. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, tower moment. This person, is, this person had to went through a tower. Dealing with an overflow of bad choices and they want to apologize because they didn't know that y'all were twins. They didn't know. They were confused. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Page of cups and then a tower is here. This person went through a tower moment because they were emotionally, you know, immature. They wanted to keep it hidden about this king of cups that they were in love with you. King of cups and then a moon card is here. And um, they were running around here at this page of cups. In love with you, but they didn't express that. They kept that hidden. So they went from the king of cups as they're, you know, at the king of cups. They went down to the page of cups and they went through a tower for that. They went through a tower because they didn't know that y'all were twins. They didn't know, but now they know that you and this person have a will of fortune, a destiny, a purpose here on earth. They didn't know. It took them to go through this tower moment. To um, get to this king of cups energy. To be able to express their self properly. To open their heart chakra up. Yeah. They didn't know why they were trying to keep it a secret that they were in love with you. The moon card is here. Yeah, this person is holding on to your energy. <laughs> the sun card is here. 
Yeah, this person is holding on to your energy and you make this person happy. Yeah. The Ten of Cups is here. This person look at you as the ultimate happiness. And they want to build a, you know, happy family with you. 